Okay, question number four. It's um, um, algebra questions. Now we've got a double bracket here. There's a there's a multiply sign in between the two double brackets. So it's e add three times e minus five. Okay. Now everything in the left hand bracket. So this e needs to multiply everything in the right hand bracket. So there's two little multiplyings to do there, and this three also needs to do the same. It needs to multiply that one and that one. Okay, so firstly, e times e is e squared. e times minus 5 is minus 5e. Now we go to the 3. 3 times by e is plus 3e. And 3 times by minus 5 is minus 15. The two e's in the middle can be simplified. So the final answer is e squared minus 2e minus 15. Part b, y equals 2y plus 1 over 5. I really want to get rid of this dividing by 5 on the right hand side first. So I times by 5 on the left hand side and I times by 5 on the right hand side with the equal sign in the middle. If you do that to the left you'll end up with 5 times y on the left and the, the dividing by 5 will cancel with the times in by 5, so you're left with 2y plus 1. This now has got a y on both sides. Always get rid of the lowest one, so I need to get rid of this plus 2y. And I do that by taking away 2y on both sides. If you do that to the left, you'll be left with 3y. The 2y disappears and you're left with 1. So y is going to be equal to 1 third is your answer for that one. Okay, now part C is solving a quadratic. So a bit like the one above in part A, we need to do that in reverse. So this one on this left-hand side will still be equal to zero, but it goes into a double bracket. In, in your double bracket, you need an x times an x at the front, and then you need two numbers that multiply to make minus 18, but add to make plus 3. So that's going to be plus 6 and minus 3. Now these two brackets are multiplying each other, so if you've got an answer having with a 0, then either x plus 6, that first bracket would have to be equal to 0, meaning that x equals minus 6, or the second bracket, x minus 3, has to be equal to 0, means that x has to be equal to 3. So two answers, x equals minus 6 and x equals 3.